I am going to be doing a bigger ranking of all Spider-Man movies, but I'm having trouble watching the Made in Spider-Man movies. So I'm going to do this as a mini side project thing. If you don't know what CBB is, go look it up. I'm not here to explain anything. If you clicked on this video, you probably already know what it is anyway. Since the series has finished, I am finally hopping on this dead friend. The only solos I'm not counting are Cyborg and Terminator because they're not counting to the series and also the remasters. So, without that out of the way, let's just get into it. <laughs> Number 30. Group 1. Dead last. Why is that? I just don't like his voice at all, but the part where he pushes those buttons is a cool reference and better than the rest, but I just don't like this performance at all. 29. Pikachu. Basically group, but less annoying and actually some good beatboxing at the end, but because of the rep 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 repetition, it's not that enjoyable. Who's the mouse with the plan that's gonna cook you like a frying pan? 28. Mickey. This actually has this is though. I prefer the music in the two below this because this doesn't have any. It's not unbearable though. And I can actually kind of enjoy it. It's for fire that I'm gonna burn with. 27. Spongebob 1. So, Spongebob won this battle. Because his take on the fun zone is pretty good. I feel like Spongebob and Mickey are on the same level with beatboxing. And it would have been better if there was a backing track. Same with Mickey's like I just said. Now this is a story all about how I made this clown turn upside down. 26. Joker. Even though this is below Pennywise, it pretty much will be a better one with the lyrics being way better, but it just feels so empty for some reason. That's the huge problem with it. That's why I have to put it lower than Pennywise 1. 25. Pennywise 1. Yo, this is actually kind of good. What the hell? It's just good though, like nothing substantial. My complaint is they try to do a remix, but there's no beat, backing track, anything to actually feel like they're parodying any music. Just a bit plain overall. <laughs> 24. Patrick 1. I wouldn't have picked Patrick in this placement if it weren't for how good he was characterizing the speed books. Cool references, the lyrics are okay, beatboxing is good, it's just how Patrick is portrayed, really, that pin him up is high. I'm sorry, Patrick. I never meant to hurt you, I never meant to make you cry, but tonight, you look constipated. <laughs> 23. Goofy. Wow, an unpopular opinion. Goofy won, and I feel like my opinion on this is going to change, but man, this beatbox is overhated on. His beatboxing is so creative in a way he doesn't need to learn stuff before what he says. People complain that he's practically dissing himself because he's showing his clumsiness, but mate, it's goofy. What do you expect him to do? <laughs> 22. Dark Side 1. I probably like this one more than other people do, but still, it has its flaws. It's not a remix at all. It tries to do Gans' Paradise, but it just doesn't work. Still, its beatboxing is pretty great. That's what put it. Still, its beatboxing is pretty great, and that's what puts it up here mostly. 21. Group 2. I mean, I have to place it here. Using Group makes the beatbox very limited. The backing song is a tune, though. I can say that about it. Where's round 2, however? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. 20. Mario 1. This is kind of low. Honestly, I'm surprised. I was pretty conflicted if I should have placed it I or not. A lot of the stuff he says is unintelligible, but it has really good beatboxing on that guitar riff. It is actually pretty much miles better than Group 2. It's just a shame everything else is probably above it. Is that right? She's in the trash. Oh, wait a minute. It's SpongeBob. 19. Deadpool 2. This is quite low for some, and to be honest, I used to dislike it even more, but I was being a bit harsh to be fair. I like the chorus in the speedbox and the others were good in itself. I found this unremarkable, but still quite good. 18. Deadshot 1. I really like this despite its loss. His remix of Get Out The Way is the first proper remix that I can say and it doesn't fail. When he says, 
but it feels good to listen to. 17. Batman. Yeah, again, this is really enjoyable, but Riven and beatboxing fits so well, and I can see how it can be Black Panther if Robin had less of a presence. Also, it's just a bit less in quality than BP, even without Robin in it. Look at me now. Look at me now. Look at me now. Number 16, Deadpool 1. This high up. His fast rap is something you rarely see the Blaze doing at all, and it's impressive. Besides some lyrics being fillery, CVB's not good at lyrics in the first place though. It was kind of close to the prize in this battle, even though I really like this one. Number 15, Fanners 2. This beatbox is almost on par with his last round one, see that later on. I feel like if the first one was less mean, I'd probably like this more, but you know, it has better lyrics, but a tad worse beatboxing on other categories. Number 14, Thanos 1. Besides the meme, this is actually very impressive beatboxing at that. Great remix as well, it makes sense for Thanos and he feels like a real threat with how he's doing his beatbox. All right. oh. Number 13, Deadpool 4. The fast drop in this isn't as impressive or really good as in Deadpool 1, then why is it above it you may ask? Because I just found that it had more substance inside of it. It was more full and less empty than the previous one I think. Number 12, Patrick Free. Although at first watch I would pick this lower, I have realised it's really catchy despite some of the lyrics and visuals being disturbing to say the least. I still think Pennywise Free won, as you'll see that later on. Number 11, Spongebob 2. This should have been Deadpool 2. I'm not a big fan of the lyrics, but I do not care because it's got really good flow and rhythm and Doodle Bob is a great addition to the beatbox. I'm glad they did it. In Wakanda, they know how to party. Number 10, Black Panther 1. This was a great remix choice. This was a great remix choice for Black Panther. Michael Jackson suits this beatbox super well and he actually kind of headband to it. Everything in this beatbox is good. The rhythm, everything, you know? Number 9, Sonic 1. Some will say I overrate this, and yeah, I probably are, but wow, this is the best lyrics in the series. The supersonic transformation was pretty cool to see. It being built up with beatboxing, yeah, I love the Sonic theme uses for that as well. This is how I do it. Number 8, Black Panther 3. Even though I like this more than Black Panther 1, I have a lot less to say on it. It is quite forgettable, because I just didn't really listen to it. Like, the first time I encountered this episode, I kind of just skimmed through, and that's kind of my fault, but... I'm pretty- this is pretty good. I don't have much to say on it, unfortunately. Number 7. Patrick Farr. This is a very enjoyable beatbox. I feel all Patrick beatboxes suit him very well, including this one especially. I think Patrick won this for Mali, and he somewhat deserves it. I like the pinky pads especially, they were very catchy. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Number 6, Pennywise 3. The only things in Patrick 3 I like more than this is the catchiness, otherwise Pennywise destroyed him. I would rather call this its own parody than a beatbox, but everything in that beatbox and a lot of stuff is great. The MJ remix suits Pennywise so much and it's great to see his lyrics as a breath of fr fresh air from the poop jokes. <laughs> Number 5, Patrick 2. This is massively overhated and I love its beatbox because of how unique and different it is to the others in the series. It goes for a more chill vibe which works for Patrick and I love the beatboxing is weirdly distinct with him using his different paths to beatbox and follow on. Wow. Number 4. Deadpool 3. Like I said with BP, I never had listened to it because I couldn't be bothered and I kind of regret it. This is the best Deadpool beatbox. I like Carlos a lot in this especially. Unfortunately, I can't think of much to say, but trust me when I say it's really good. <laughs> Number 3. 
Pennywise 2. This is amazing. The spooky atmosphere is ingrained in this beatbox, from the beatbox into the tune itself. It is extremely well done. I can't say much about it because it's so damn good. Number 2. Black Panther 2. I'll talk about why this lost a song, but for now, it's basically an even more improved BP once for some reason. Not so, somehow. <laughs> the lyrics are the most improved thing. The drowning joke has great flow to it, and so does the rest of the beatbox overall. Get ready to get kicked out of the Number one. Uh, sorry, two. Wow. I forgot how good the round twos are. Sonic is Sonic. He brings life into any performance. A lot of the characters I'm referencing is highlighting the beatbox. It's so well done. I love it. This is better than Black Panther 2 because whilst I think they're on par, Sonic has way more in it, if you get me. Like, way more substance, way more stuff happening. <sighs> well, that was some short descriptions that kind of compiled into a big video. That Spider-Man video really needs some rushing right now. See you next time when I do that. Bye.